What's going on guys, Hunter from Extreme Fishing bringing you another video. And today, I'm going to be doing a tackle video and on my, all my tackle and some of my baits. So yeah, we're going to get into it. We're going to start with the boring stuff. Uh, this, my catfish cart bait. It's not really that good, but it works. Um, it's a strawberry flavor scented. Uh, it's just, I use it every once in a while. I think it would work better for carp than catfish, but that's my opinion, so there's that. This is my soft, extra soft plastic box. Um, it has like two lizards that are like stained somehow. I don't know what happened. I think it's from like some attractant. Um, I think we got a 10 inch ribbon tail worm. Uh, two. Berkeley curly tail worms and um, like about nine inch, eight inch curly tail worm. And this also got stained, I think, from a lizard somehow, but a zoom trick worm. Um, and here we just got some random Senkos right here. Um, Black and blue, uh, baby bass, black and blue, straight green. This weird black looking thing that's like flat. It's really good for wacky rig though. Um, black and blue, watermelon red, green pumpkin, kind of like a squishy thing. Um, I got a bit closer. Um, watermelon, red, green pumpkin. These black, wacky things. Baby bass, watermelon, red, and black and blue. So yeah, if I ever need like some random plastics, because I forget mine, I got them in here. I think I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to start with uh, plastics. Uh, I got these young sharpshooters. I had these for a while. Um, they're, they're an okay bait, they're really cheap, you can find them in the dollar bargain bins at, uh, Dick's Boarding Goods, and I don't know about Walmart, but, um, it says it's used for a drop shot, J-Cat, or finesse Texas rig, uh, I would not use these for Texas rig, um, these are four and a half inches, by the way, I wouldn't use these for Texas rig, um, not really a great for te Texas rig, they're kind of, like, thin, as I'll show you. They're just a really thin bait. I would use it for drop shot, but it's still not even that great of a drop shot bait. They're okay. It's kind of crusty on the package, but yeah, those are kind of old. All right. I got some black and blue yum dingers. Asian neon, but really it's like green pumpkin, watermelon, red dingers. Strike king, green pumpkin. Yum, Christy crawl. Green pumpkin with purple flake. Cabela's hoochie coochie, or whatever it is. Three inch. Um, and some Berkeley power bait. These are my scales for a trout. Yep. Alright, so there's all that like boring stuff. Now we're gonna get to the fun stuff. I'll start with the big one. This might look like the most kind of a fun tackle box, but it's really like the most boring. Uh, also the Eddie Bauer knife, which is over there, is included in this video, but if you want to see that, go to the review of it. So we're gonna start with this. Uh, nail clippers, like cut line, but I don't really use them. I got this wrench multi-tool, kind of like the Eddie Bauer knife, but like not that good. <clears throat> so that's in this one and then this one is my uh, pocket knife for lots of things stainless steel alright now actual tackle 
So I'm gonna actually pick up the camera for this and show you guys because this is kind of a big kind of a thing. So yeah. well, up here is basically like kind of like a terminal tackle slash like stuff I don't really use. So I got like these, this like zoom like super fluke thing. It's really durable, really nice. This is also like a zoom fluke. It's also stained from attractive. I don't use this really, I use, this is my go-to one. Uh, three little uh, green pumpkin black flake two baits right there. These are some extra crawls. Uh, there's like that one. Uh, this crawl, which isn't really that good. I don't, yeah, I don't use that. And this is a good trailer because like the, while this is on, like these uh, claws like flew up. Some split shots right here, and that, and then uh, some bullet weights right here on top. Two little bobbers if I ever need them for like catching sunnies or something. I, I'm gonna use these as drop shot weights. Those are my sinkers, and then this is a three ounce sinker weight. Uh, basically swim bait. Those things beat up and junk. Those are decent. And these are little. Uh, Oh, these are little minnows for like crappie. Uh, some of my grubs. Um, these are like kind of like shiny ones. I got a green pumpkin one in there. And a uh, kind of like a Cajun neon, neon. These are an assortment of little uh, kind of like panfish baits. Uh, except these can be used for trout, these little things right here. Not that good though, I don't really recommend them for trout. But yeah, it's just my kind of like little grubs and all that. Now this is, um, my friend got these for me um, while he was in Vietnam. They are, never mind, I don't know what they are because like, I don't know why this won't focus. But there we go. The, yeah, that 50 piece. Um, let me take one out. Real quick, can't really take it out, but you can see that one right there. That's basically what they are. Uh, ouch! There's so many of these. Uh, that's one thing about having a lot of hooks; they can be very annoying. So, yeah. And if they don't shut, then. Something's wrong. So, yeah. Kind of annoying. Um, little assortment of hooks right here. Well, junk. Small hooks, more like panfish, kind of. These are go to hooks, but the Gamagatsu ones. The extra large wide gap worm hook. Um, this is size two, but I prefer size one, like the thinner ones. This has 14 of them, kind of like, these are my favorite ones, just, I'm not a fan of the eagle claw. Yeah, those hooks. So going to the bottom here, basically got two packs of these, that one's like all bent, I mean, this has like these, oh, sorry, not really that good, but there, it'll work. And this is my snap holes. All in here. Yeah, a lot of snap holes. So, yeah. Um, that's it, so I'm gonna move on to my other tackle right, so boxes. So, we'll finish with that. Um, now we're gonna start with my other tackle boxes. This is my jig box. Or like, basically things that just aren't crankbaits. So um, we're gonna start. I'm gonna start with my jigs. This is a, I think, yeah, this is like a Strike King. It's a football head jig, black and blue. Um, this is made with Gamagatsu hook and it has a, not really, it doesn't have a stiff weed guard, it just has a decent weed guard. Uh, this is like $5. Now I got two of these. Two came in a package. Uh, they are finesse jigs. They um, retailed for like, Five dollars for two of them. Oh, nice. They got a not really a stiff weed guard, so that's kind of nice. 
Um, this has a stiff weed guard. It's PB and J. It has a rattle, and it has this thing, so like you can put it on over the hook, and uh, your bait trailer won't fall off. So yeah, this was actually only three dollars, and it's more of a swim casting jig. This is my Z-Man Chatterbait, uh, one fourth or three eighths ounce. Yeah, it's one fourth ounce. Um, and yeah, I got it in chartreuse and kind of a pearl white. And it has the easy skirt and the sharp or the hook is really sharp on here, which I like. Next is a Walmart one dollar spinner bait. Nothing really that special. Just all black. I'm gonna show you guys the chatter bait one more time. So I don't really show you guys. Here's another one dollar Walmart spinner bait. I don't have too many spinner baits because I'm not a fan of them. And yeah, this one's more of a nicer one. It's got the willow blade and then secondary blade. Um, basically just like some jig heads, just a few. Uh, I don't know why I made it in this its own slot for this, but there is an underspin thing in here uh, some of my marabou jigs you can kind of see the head colors these are like the white feathered ones and these are the color feathered ones loads of spoons shiny spoons uh, more of my yellow inline spinners I'll show you one of them so I have like a load of inline spinners. Like, I don't know if that's a good camera angle. Oh, whoops. It's definitely not good. There you go. You can see the inline spinners. Yeah, I got quite a good amount of them. Yeah. Put that back right here. Focus. Alright. Here's one of them. I want to show you the blade. The blade's nice. There it is. Yeah. Um. Load of those. Uh, this thing, which was, I don't know. I just found it. And then two hooks that I can use for grubs, like bait holder hooks. Nothing that special. Load more spoons and stuff in here. Nothing exciting. Now we're going on to. My favorite box, crankbait box. So I'm gonna start off with like actual crankbaits and then moving on to my other things like jerk baits and blade baits. So right here we got a square ball crankbait. Nice rattle. Like a little crappie crankbait. Fire tiger. Berkeley flicker shad, uh one fourth ounce. And like uh, black and gold, I think. This is a Cotton Cordell Super Spot Lipless Crankbait. Medium Diving Crankbait. Medium Diving Crankbait. Two more Medium Diving Crankbaits. Uh, more medium diving crankbaits. Even more medium diving crankbaits. And also I have some um, more medium diving crankbaits. This is the most useless color I've ever seen. And uh, this cool looking blue kind of... Uh, color looks nice probably my favorite one um now we're done with the medium diving crankbaits all right um moving on to some blade baits is more of a darker black silver silver right there 
Now these ones are a different design. I have a gold and silver one like this. This one's like, like looks like that. This one looks like that. I'm not gonna use gold as much, uh, probably at all. And just another gold one that looks like the other ones. The main ones. Now we're gonna move on to jerk beats. Not that many jerk beats, but we got this one. A suspending jerk beat. Uh, suspending jerk bait. Floating jerk bait by Rapallo, so this thing will rise. But you can make it suspending by putting a split ring on the nose and maybe like one here. And this is a smaller jerk bait. And you could probably get some like, oops, probably some, um, what's it called? Littler fish, like crappie maybe to bite on. This is my Booyah Pad Crusher Junior Frog. Yeah. And last but not least in my crankbait box, we have a topwater popper with a modification of uh, a feathered rooster tail hook on it. For better looks and get more fish. So that's my real tackle boxes. Now we're gonna move on to a couple of mystery tackle boxes. This is a regular, uh, make sure I don't show the label, December box. First thing here you see is a just a Western crankbait. It's still in the package because I still need to get another tackle box to put some of this stuff in. Uh, what's it called? Death Stalker. Really good bait. This thing, which I'm never gonna use, it's like 19 million inches. Um, got some big bite bait cricket something. Oh, what are these? I forget what these are called. These are called the, the uh, cricket tails and some sample pack of hooks, the kind I like. Yep. So yep, there's that and that mystery tackle box. Now the one I just got yesterday, you saw the review on. I have some stuff in here. Start with the boring stuff. Uh, these uh, terribly packaged cardboard swim bait Texas rig hooks. Carolina kit, which is cool. Never use Carolina rig, but I'll start using it. Uh, the thing I'm probably gonna use the most. Besides the other thing that's in here, are these. It's like an underspin on a jig head. And an extra swim bait. Lucky craft, point, uh, Lucky craft pointer, size 95. And last but not least, their version of a ugly looking brush hog mixed with a crawfish. But these are actually kind of cool. So yeah, that's all this stuff. Um, and yeah, that's it for my tackle. So, um, if you enjoyed the video, just, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, if you're new, just, uh, stick along and see what else comes next. This, uh, Monday, not Monday, um, uh, what's it called? Today is Wednesday, so, uh, I'm not gonna have a video tomorrow. Maybe Friday. Um, Friday's gonna rain, so nothing cool is happening. Um, Saturday fishing video well Saturday I'm going fishing uh, Sunday I'm going fishing and Monday I might probably will go fishing so you'll get one to two videos there one being a fishing video hopefully I catch something that's gonna be decently warm I feel like we'll probably like 40 now instead of like negative three here in New Jersey southern or South Jersey yeah um then maybe a tutorial video on how to use like a blade bait or something um Tell me guys in the comments what you want to see, but yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.